Tell her mama bad, but she know it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, you know it's all good. I just got a bad just to shut the boss up. Got me popping tags, don't know what it cost us. Little shawty bad, but she know it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, you know it's all good. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. And today, 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 today is Vlogmas Day Two, and we back with another vlog. Yeti. Yeah, okay, y'all. So today I could not vlog because I literally did nothing but lay in my bed today. Like because they were supposed to bring me a sick call slip to go and get my toes looked at because I have a really, really, really bad ingrown. And they did not come and give me my stub. Like, they didn't come give me my paper till like six o'clock at night. I have, by that, by then the day is over. I went and got me some food and then I went and worked out. So, to keep on schedule, I'm gonna do a story time for Vlogmas today and then tomorrow we are gonna get back on schedule. Or I did tell y'all in my last video, some of the days gonna be uh, story times and some of them gonna be different type of videos because y'all know my days is pretty much the same every day. It's up the weekend. So, now, we gonna get straight into the story. As y'all can see by the title, this is gonna be the first time I got high. Yes, mama, if you, mama don't watch this one. Don't watch this one. I know I already told you I spoke before, but don't watch this one. I don't need you all in my business, girl. But anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And let's get straight into the video. Okay, y'all. So, this is, it's going to be like two times because the first time I got high was real boring. It's the second time that really did something so let's briefly talk about the first time so the first time was I was a freshman in community college just graduated 19 years old or whatever and I had met this boy named James and this boy I had a little crush on him or whatever and he went to my school and we just had got real close like real fast because he used to walk home and I used to walk home too or uh, take the bus so um and he lived like really close to the um condos that I was staying in with my mama at the time so it was just one day we was texting and it was late at night and by our condos it was like this you go down the hill and it was like this grocery store nail shop all this like down there in this little uh cul-de-sac area is what you call it so what happened was I went and I uh he texted me one night and he said come down there which he used to always do that like we used to just go down there and talk all the time or whatever so this in this particular night I went down there and he was like uh look what I got and he showed me a little weed or whatever. It ain't like I ain't never seen weed before. I seen weed before. So when he showed me, I was like, oh, you about to smoke, you know, da da da. He's like, yeah, I know you ain't never smoked before. You should try it with me or whatever. You need to, the first time you do it, you need to try it with somebody you trust. And I'm sitting there like, oh, I don't know. He was like, it's only me and you. Like, it ain't gonna be nothing crazy. Like, it's cool, whatever. Easily persuaded little old me. I was like, cool, let's do it. So, he rolls it up, and I'm sitting there nervous as hell, like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? My mama, they always told me stories about, um, like, family members that they went, like, crazy over that stuff, and, like, stuff that it happened because of that stuff, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm really about to do this. So, he rolled it up, and he take his, um, hits or whatever, he taking hits, he taking hits, and he was like, um, you want to try now? I was like, cool. So, I get, uh, get the blunt. I'm holding it like this or whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't want to look crazy in front of this boy or whatever. Because mind you, I had a crush on him. So, I get the, uh, I get it. And he was like, just, um, suck it in and hold it. So, that's what I did. I sucked it in. I held it. He was like, you got to get it to go into your lungs. So, you got to suck it and hold it down. So, when I did that, that's when I start OD coughing. Like, I was coughing so bad. Like, OD. So after I would say after that I ain't feel nothing after like 10 minutes. Took another hit. 20 minutes go by and when I tell you I felt like I was floating on a cloud. 
I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. And so we went outside at the little cul-de-sac and we were just running around having fun, me and him, just running around the dang old cul-de-sac. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I would think we was down there for a good hour or two, just down there like, oh, and I was down there, yeah, buddy. Like this ain't nothing like my mama said, it feel good. So after that, I started to come like a little more down. Like after a couple of hours of us sitting down there, we was talking for a long time. We were just talking about life and everything. So then after that, I was um, I was like, I got real, real hungry. And then so I was like, yeah, I'm about to go back uh, to my house, whatever. So I went back home and climbed through my window, you know, laid down. I went upstairs, got me a snack. Then I laid down. And that was that, that was the first time. Now, the second time, this is what turned me off of smoking. I was like, no, okay, I'm good. So, the second time was with him too, of course. And this time we went, he came and he got me from um, my, he texted me, he was like, you wanna smoke whatever? I was like, sure, whatever. And he was like, my friend with me too. Mind you, I ain't never met this friend. And I was like, okay. So he come get me, sneak out again, go, go with him. I get in the car, the friend, he seemed cool. I mean, it was, it was another dude, but I was scared because it was me, him and the dude, but I kind of wasn't scared because it was a person I knew, like I knew him or whatever. So we go to another like, um, cul-de-sac type thing, but it wasn't the cul-de-sac by my house. It was like, I would say like 10, 15 minutes away from the house. So we drive over there and um, the dude that's in the passenger seat, he um, rolling up. And me and James, we just talking or whatever. He had, by this time he had already parked, we talking and talking or whatever. And he roll up and then um, he proceeds to take a hit once he done or whatever, done rolling. He take a hit, James take a hit, and then they pass it to me. Something in my gut was telling me not to smoke this dang on weed. And I don't know what it was, but my dumb old self still smoked the weed. I was like, okay, let me take my hit. So I took the hit. First hit, I knew someone was right. That junk was like strong. And by this point, I'm thinking I'm a pro. I just sucked it down, you know, blew it out real smooth, didn't choke this time. Like, I'm thinking I'm a dang old pro. So once I did that, I was like, bruh, this ain't feeling right. So 10 minutes go by and we had got out the car to um by this time we got out the car and y'all like stuff was happening but my brain was like skipping scene, like jumping like my body was jumping like my movements was like robotic and i was like what the hell what type of jump is this so i um we get out the car to air the car out Cause we in a parking lot, it's an empty parking lot, nobody there. So we got out the car and they was like talking to me and I'm just looking at them talking to me. And I'm like, what the hell is these niggas talking about? So they looking at me and I'm like, bro, like what? So then I got this weird eerie vibe that they was about to do something to me. In my head, something just clicked and told me they about to rape me. I don't know why, but that's just what clicked in my head. And my homeboy was like, uh, Jazz, you cool, you cool? And he put his hand on my shoulder. I was like, bro, take me home. That's what I did, like, automatically. I was like, take me home, take me home, take me home, please take me home. And he was like, oh, what's wrong, what's wrong with you? And the friend was looking at me, he was like, what's wrong with you? But what I was looking at, I was looking at them like, they looked like two demons that was like, what's wrong with you? Like, what you, um, what's wrong? Uh, some wrong, some wrong. Like they was trying to get me. So I was like, oh my God, take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. I started screaming, y'all. I was screaming. So then get up in the uh, car and they take me home. I run, y'all. I ran out of the car. Ran out of the car, jumped through my window, and then I was just laying on the floor. Like laying on the floor in my room. And then I started laughing. I got my phone out and I started recording myself and I was like <laughs> I'm high as hell <laughs> and started laughing on the floor after I just thought those two boys about to rape me then the next day James texted me he was like are you good like you 
did you really think I was gonna do something to you? Like, I would never do that. I was like, I know, but like, I don't know what that was, but that was not the same thing we smoked the first time. Like, no, that was not the same thing, and I never want to smoke again. But, yeah, that really scared me. That really scared me straight. Until after um, after I gradu graduated basic in AIT, when I went home, I smoked again with uh, my god, well, not my god, but my sister and our, um, they like God family, like, they, we grew up in the church together. So, I smoked again then, and it was me and my sister, and I, and I was felt a little more safe because my sister was there, so I was like, okay, cool. So, my sister hit it, I hit it, and it was out of a bond this time, and mind you, I ain't smoked since like I would say a year later I went to basic and I ain't smoked since then so after AIT I decided mm, celebration time and so did it took one hit one hit and literally my sister took one hit we was in my other sister room we it was just me and um, my sister we was in her room and we was sitting there and we was talking to each other out loud regular but in our head we was thinking that we was reading each other mind we was like oh my god is we reading each other mind oh my god then my god sister had came in and brought me my wallet she came in and brought me my wallet and then um i had thought that i was telling my sister in my head to her head i thought that i was telling her like oh my god sister it tried to steal out of my wallet but I was saying it out loud and my boucher she was like yes she was and we were just sitting there like oh my god we're reading each other's mind and oh, that day and then again movements got robotic and after that I was like oh the next morning we woke up and we were still high we were still high and we were still moving across the street robotic going out because we had went to um go get something to eat um and it, it was like walking distance and we were still moving robotic and we was like yeah we went to the gym to try to run it off we were still high then we went to sleep again and we woke up and then we wasn't high no more and we was like yeah we're good that that was good enough for me after that i was like okay for sure for sure we is just not for me i got one other story but that one was just way too much like it was another time that i smoked with my other um god sister but that one was too much i can't even tell that one on camera but yeah so after those what was that four times <laughs> like after four times i knew but yeah for real after four times i was like okay it's not it's not the weed it's me like this is what happens to me i just can't have weed i think it's i'm too much of a bubbly person anyway i'm too much of a vibrant person anyway like we just like amps it up it makes my brain just too much to handle so yeah that's the story it's yeah <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and stay tuned for the next vlogmas. Merry, oh, I'm about to tell y'all Merry Christmas. It ain't even Christmas yet. But happy vlogmas day two. I'll see y'all tomorrow.